um, we're talking about statistics, um, we find ourselves in sort of an argument with uh, the players where someone will, you'd think a player is better than I'll give you an example, Coutinho and Sigurdsson. Someone will tell you Coutinho, I'll tell you Coutinho is better from watching football, right? Someone will bring the stats and tell you well, maybe he's not better. So my question is, when does the statistics come into football? And when you use it as a basis of an argument to prove that a player is better than the other one? I feel like, personally, statistics is only... I would only, personally, like you see me debating, yeah. when it comes to strikers, I would use it, but I would only if it's like last resort. That I come, lo, the yeah. last resort I is what I come to statistics. If I haven't seen a player play, obviously, and I look at stats, it will make me want to go see that player play. However, when I look at the stats and you look at the performance of the player, two and two together, you understand what I'm saying? You'd be like, mm, the stats does him more justice than he is a player. And I feel like right now, because we're in a stats-based world, like, yeah. it was never there before. Yeah. Like, different players like Ruud Van Nistelrooy and yeah. things like that, when you used to rate them, it some of the numbers, just, some yeah. of the numbers, they yeah. don't match up with yeah. the Suarez is today. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Suarez scored 60 goals in one season. You understand what I'm saying? And, you compare that to some of the strikers before. Omri, one of Omri's like best, not he's great, but one of his he scored, he scored like 23 goals in the um, in the Premier League and had like 20 assists. And so I was saying, you can't put a value on that because when you watch Omri, you're just like, wow, this guy is amazing. So it's only as it comes to a bare minute. I understand that like, it's important to other people, but personally, it's as a last resort. But especially that like, the rest of the positions, I feel like you should just be able to compare them based on different attributes like what they can do what they can do it's easy to say oh he scored more than him so he's better than him lazy lazy what stats do stats are co- 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 collective information on a player's action on the field so it's telling you in numbers what this player has achieved in a given 90 minute period for a club so if we're then saying, like, usually going to see girls in the rest you want to measure uh, a particular category, yeah. you can compare them objectively. What your eyes see, when we say, when we have this thing where we go, I don't do stats, I just, I just watch the game, <laughs> yeah? That's a false dichotomy. Let me tell you why it's false. How? What's that? <laughs> Wait, let me tell you why it's false. What stats are you talking about? Because the thing you're watching that you think makes a player look better than another player can be evidence in statistics. Everything, yeah, everyone yeah. can. Everything. Can be, it, it, let me give an example, right? I can make a player and say, um, no, no, no. I, I have to say, I have to say, Coutinho yeah. scores more players than Tigurson. He was still scored 10 goals, yeah. Tigurson scored 5 goals, he was a better player. Yeah. That would be a full stat, because yeah. that's just 150. If I then had a stat which said, Coutinho, um, Tigurson makes 100 off the ball runs a game, where well, Coutinho makes 50 off the ball runs a game, and how many of those runs are runs which lead to goals? That's statistics. It's effective. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's the way people use stats mm-hmm. that's the problem, not stats themselves. Mm-hmm. Stats are just evidencing what's happening on the pitch. What the players have done. Um, I just feel like it's a representation. Wait, 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 let, me, let me give you an example. Let me, let me give you an example. No, 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 let me give you an example. No, 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 a perfect example here. Yeah. False. Uh, let, me, let me give you, let me give you okay. an example. Let me give you an okay. example. Just wait. Yeah. So, let's say, let me give a player that we all might not... Um... Dele Alli? No, I would just, Dele Alli is too easy to use. Oh, let's example. say... Um... Look how long it's taken it. What? <laughs> no, no, the reason why, because I want to give something that you might, you might be able to relate to. Wait, okay. Vegetarian. Right? Yeah. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Before he moved to Manchester United, yeah. I said that, don't let the stats fool you. Because one, what people say was that oh, he, he managed to have the same exact statistics yeah. as Kevin De Bruyne in his best season. Yeah. I said, but if you watch them, they're, they're worlds so, apart. Yeah. Now, if you watch Dortmund properly, yeah. what would happen is that somebody like Royce, yeah. Royce would make like a 40 yard run, yeah. dribble like three players, but, square yeah. it to Mkhitaryan, and he yeah. squares it to Aubameyang. Yeah. The assist goes to Mkhitaryan. Yeah. But, what you see is that Royce did the, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. if you if you push a stat, 
you might see that Royce has like three, and then McIntyre has like so twenty, yeah. and you're just like, bro, McIntyre is so. So you understand what I'm saying? And he doesn't, and he doesn't take and a, a fantastic point. You know what I mean? That's the point. You just prove mine. What? No, but what, what I'm saying is stats. If he just says McIntyre, Royce can make a run. Yeah. Give it to McIntyre. Yeah. You can't work part of the so you're talking about the use of stats. So what he's done, yeah. Okay. Do they have a do they have a stat? They don't have a stat. They don't have they don't have a stat. How have you done? Yeah. If you use the stat, what stat? What stat is it? What stat is it? What stat is it? Where at? Where at? How do you use that from? If you went to the proper comparison, you use a stat which is measuring how many triples Royce made. Yeah, but triples, but attacking, yeah, and goals. Maybe who's fault is that? But that's just that's what happens. Exactly. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, oh, assist your goals and we're talking about baseball. Yeah, okay. Let me go back to my pop top. There are statistics for everything. Yeah, I understand, but if and are you going to... If you go to Marino 15 goals, this guy's got 10 assists, this guy's got 8, I'm going to buy him. That would be silly. They look at mad metrics. No, they look at they no, they look at stats. They look at oh, wait, so no, no, no. Oh, I know, I know. Metrics I, are no, no, no. I don't have. I don't have. Uh, they look at stats. Let's see what's that. They look at stats. No, they don't look at that, that. that because that as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, as an agent or as a manager, as an agent or as a manager, you haven't got. Has, did anyone watch the deadline game? No, no. But this how this how no. But this how they work. This how they work, players. This is why. Do you know why? Let me give you a perfect example. Because Mourinho didn't do his homework when he signed Pogba. Easy, the best bit of analysis I can give you. When he, when Pogba got to United, Mourinho didn't know what to do with him. Anybody who has watched Paul Pogba know that as a ten, he cannot work. Allegri tried it for Juve. He works. He works the best in the three man midfield. When they signed him, I said, I hope Mourinho buys another midfielder to assist Pogba. The whole season, people were like, Pogba. Pogba. I was just like, no. It's just that when he operates, he operates. Because True. the stat that he got in the league that season, so he had you, 10 goals, he had 10 goals and 10 assists. 10 goals and 10 goals and 10 assists for a centre midfielder is like, oh my days. Coutinho doesn't have 10 goals and 10 assists. Okay, 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 this, 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 make the connection between Marino and Buying it because of stats. Exactly. 10 goals and 10 assists. Because if he knew if he knew how he operates, if he knew how he operates, he would have bought another midfield. Why is it only now that you bought Matic? Hold on, wait, wait. So why do you buy Matic now? He could have. He could have. Because they think he wasn't good enough. No, but he's. No, 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 Twice, that's the league. Let me, let me, let me know what that's going to say. No, all right. I, I, I think it's, 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 it's interesting. I think the first simple for Roy because of stats. Stats, stats. Yeah, 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 first of all, stats that's have an important role to play yeah. because they give you a top line of what someone is capable of doing. Thank you. But like what you said, I think what the real question is is how do you then use those stats to kind of judge a man? <laughs> so, for example, if a man scores 35 goals in a league, that's impressive. But if those 35 goals in the, in the Premier League came against Swansea, West Ham, Lukaku was playing was, was, as an example of a man that says got buff stats, but in the big game, when you win over the league, is he going to turn up? So 35 goals that's good on paper, but what did he do it, during the season to make United win the Premier League? So stats can be moulded to, to how you want to use them to a degree. However, when you look at a man, stats are important because if a man's got four goals all season, that doesn't look good. As if, I, don't, I don't care if my strikers worked hard, yeah, made yeah, great yeah. runs. If he's got four goals this season, I'm Yeah, because well, on, on, a, on a personal yes. level, I think, right, the only time sats should come in, but especially when it comes to comparing players, is if they're of similar quality. That's it. If they're not of similar quality, then why the hell are we... Especially, like I said, you're saying, fair enough, pass completion, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I get that. But at times, the team you play in can help you do that. Right? Like, someone was telling me about Ultra, right? When, well, if you're playing... Let's go back to that. Huh? Let's go back to that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But I'm saying, if you're playing in um, a smaller team where... I was talking about um, what, Triari, Adama Triari, and comparing to Ultra, and someone was telling me, well, his part, his pass completion is rubbish. And I'm like, he, he's playing for middle spot. Most of the time, he's getting the ball out on a counter-attack. Once he gets there, he's not going to see anyone. I'll tell you what I've done. 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 I
when I, I looked up the stats for the, for the guy, and for me, yeah. for my opinion, he's probably the most effective and intelligent football player in the league. Yeah. His stats are shocking, who, who, but he's the most effective. Who? David Silva. His stats are awful. However, watch him play. Yeah. Every game he plays, more, most games he plays, he's the best player on the game. Because he <laughs> runs the game. Let me make another one. But his one. stats are yeah. awful. I've got another City comparison there. Yaya Toure. Yeah. He looks lazy. The other two, he looks lazy. He plays when he plays. Yeah. No, try hard. Don't yeah. work for the team. Mm-hmm. Look at his stats, yeah? yeah he he runs more than any yeah. other Man City player. Yeah. But watching the game, you think the guy looks lazy. That's the report. Wait, not. I think if you're going to say he's better than him because he's got 10 goals, he's got 5 goals. That, that, that's, that's an immature it. argument. That's, that's a futile argument. You know what I mean? However, you can't dismiss that. That's what, as I said, if a man's only got 4 goals all year, that says something about a striker. So, but, so they don't rely on So there's sort of. The, the advantages and disadvantages, and it's, it's all about how you use this. How do you use it? Like it? How do you use it? I, I just, I, I'm gonna rate it. I, I like it. It's yeah. a good, it's a good indicator. But it's the, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's, the the, it's the last thing I use. Like when, um, because people were mocking Morata. I said yeah, Morata is better than Lukaku. I said it from the. I said, listen, I won't think twice. Yeah. People were just like Morata's only scored forty something goals yeah. in his career. And I was just like, it doesn't change the fact that I believe he's better than me. And so I was saying, they were just like, nah, he scored 20 something goals. I think the, the last season, last season you know was his highest season think? of scoring goals, isn't it? You understand what I'm saying? Because what, 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 do you, what do you want from your striker? Do you want your striker to just bang 30 goals? And no, but else, the reason why. bang 22 goals, but maybe get five assists. Yeah! Is that, is I, I, want, I want my striker you to be safe. Every, every striker, yeah. every striker, I believe now. You know, striking always develops. Through the 90s, it was a big man. You know, the Vieries, the crossing, be able to get the nod in. From the time, from 2000, when Henri came in, even Van Nistelrooy, people think he was only a finisher. He was, his overall build-up was good. I had that argument just this week, actually. You understand what I'm saying? His overall build-up. And now, you can't have a striker who, on the ball, is not good. You understand what I'm saying? This is the only thing that I have, I feel like, will hinder United this season. When you play the ball to Lukaku, He's a lethal finisher. Put it in the box, sticks yeah. it in. But when you play yeah. against against Swansea, right. against Swansea, against Swansea, against Swansea, not great. Exactly against Swansea, he had seven possessions and he got dispossessed five times. When you play a deep defense, that, that, no, 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 no. But when you play, but okay, I didn't. I, I'm just using an example. I, don't, I didn't need so stats what, what to see. That I didn't need stats yeah, to see that like, Lukaku is not good on the ball. You understand what I'm saying? He's not. The greatest on the ball. You know, so when United play against a deep blocking team, when it gets further in the important stages, like you said, he's not going to be in big games. That's going to be a hindrance. Yeah. You understand? Know, so, and that's, that's how I see it. Let's cut it here with the stats. Yeah. It begins to stat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. So that'll be it for this yeah. topic, yeah.